When is this dollar bill a matter of interest? When it's in the hands of the artist, our John Blackstone discovered. There, this one's so worn down. To Seth Dickerman, a handful of coins is much more than spare change. Here's a beautiful 54 quarter. Uh huh. They show all kinds of nicks and scrapes. Each of these coins has been through its own, like, unfathomable journey. You know, we don't know where it's been. Dickerman owns a print shop in downtown San Francisco. But since the 1980s, he's been photographing presidents on coins and bills. I think it was 1986, actually, when I was looking at a dime. I was looking with a picture of Roosevelt on it. I just thought he was very dignified, and I didn't find that the occupant of the White House had such dignity at the time. And that's where it started. I decided to photograph presidents on currency. The U.S. Mint decided to put presidents on coins in 1909, replacing the Indian head penny with an image of Abraham Lincoln. Up until then, the U.S. didn't put politicians on money, concerned it would make them look like the ruling monarchs on European currency. Now, we may barely notice the presidential portraits. But on Dickerman's walls, you can't miss them. When we were kids, you could buy something for a penny. So is this trying to give some respect back to both Lincoln and the penny, perhaps? I think so, yes, I hope so. The process begins with a camera older than most of the bills and coins themselves. This is not the kind of camera you see every day now. No, this is a beautiful old 8x10 portrait camera. It's about 100 years old. It weighs about 1,000 pounds. But it's a beautiful machine for making portraits. Now, I'm sure you notice that you have this mounted upside down. I did notice that, <laughs> yes. That's because it's going to turn right side up on the ground glass. The camera allows him to enlarge the image as much as 10,000%. I mean, if I do this, then I can see really well. So we have this projection light, and it's pretty flat now, the way it's lit. But if we just tilt it, we can see the shadows start to grow until it gets pretty sweet. So this is how it comes out, Washington larger than life. Yes, that's how it comes out. There he is. I just love all the patterns. You can see the strange things that have happened to him over time. And you say happened to him. That's happened to the coin. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's not just the presidents. It's not just photography. Currency means something to you. Yeah. Currency, well, that is what we call bills and coins. And see, there's also current events. I mean, it's also still, they are still current. They still have things to tell us. And in particular, of these men are absolutely the right guy at the right time. You know, without Lincoln, I don't know what would have happened. The prints cost anywhere from one to $5,000. The enlargements reveal every detail, every flaw. Being confronted with something so much larger than you, it gives it a certain power. And for Seth Dickerman... It just adds another layer. That is their real face value.